Hello everybody. In the previous video, we analyzed the circuit using node voltage analysis. Now our goal is analyzing the same circuit using mesh current analysis. One of the most important differences uh, between these two analyses, in mesh current analysis, we don't need to label the node voltage or, or uh, ground voltage. Okay, it can be here or anywhere else. It doesn't matter from the uh, mesh current point of view. Okay, so I'm cleaning it. Uh, the second step is, of course, uh, we need to label the uh, meshes and their curves. Let's start with it. it. Okay. I A, I B, I C, and I D. As you can see, all of them are in clockwise direction. Okay, the next step is uh, trying to understand if there is any super mesh or not. Okay, so uh, in between IA and an IC, two meshes, we have a current source, which means that we need to uh, draw a super mesh and analyze this uh, combined mesh uh, accordingly. And this is our super mesh. Okay, so we need to write KVL based on this super mesh mesh closed loop. Okay. So also, as you can see, we, there, uh, there is a dependent current source, uh, but it is not technically uh, adjacent to any two meshes. But it means that instead of writing KVL for D mesh, we need to simply write a relation between ID and the uh, value of the current source, uh, and it will be one of our uh, equations. Okay, so let's start writing the uh, linear system of equations. Okay, let's start with the super mesh. And uh, before writing the KVL for the super mesh, let's write a, a relation between IA and IC using this current source. Okay, so IA is hitting in, in this direction and IC is in this direction. So we can clearly see that minus IA plus IC is equal to five amps. Okay, let's check. As you can see, it is correct. So this is our first equation. Uh, before going to KVL, let's uh, deal with ID. Okay, so ID is technically the current in this direction, current source is also supplying current in the same direction. So ID is equal to three over four V1. Okay, so what is V1? V1 is the voltage drop in this direction. Okay, so what is the current in this direction? Uh, let's say the current here is equal to ID minus IA. So this is equal to three over four the uh, resistance value two times i d minus i a okay so if i simplify it i d is equal to three over two i d minus i a so if we simplify this equation we will simply see that this is our second equation such that three over two i a plus or minus one over two i d is equal to zero okay so we have two equations, uh, but we need two more equations because we have four unknowns. Okay, now let's start writing the KVL equations. Okay, and uh, let's start with the uh, non-easy part and uh, write the KVL for the super mesh. Okay, so when writing uh, KVL for the super mesh, I will start from this point. Okay, I will go in this direction and by taking care of all of the elements, I will finish my KVL. Okay, so let's start with it. Okay, what is the current in this direction? It is equal to IC minus IB times two. I'm skipping the ohm uh, unit for now. Okay, plus, so voltage is dropping in this direction, so it is 16 because we are using passive sign convention in KVL uh, mesh analysis. Okay, so voltage is increasing in this direction, so it is equal to A times I1. Okay, so instead of I1, uh, we need to write it in terms of the uh, existing uh, mesh current variance. Okay, so what is I1? I1 is the current in this direction, which is equal to IC minus IB. Okay. So, and I also need to change this plus sign, so it should be minus, because as you can see, the, there's a voltage increase here. We are using passive sign convention. It should be a, a minus A times I1. I1 is equal to IC minus IB. Okay, IC minus IB. That's good. Okay, plus current in this direction times two. 
Okay, what's the current instruction? IA minus ID times 2. Okay, finally, 4 times the current instruction. What is the current instruction? Let's write it here. Okay, it is IC minus ID times 4, and it is equal to 0. Okay, so what are we going to do is, so we have IAs, as you can see, Bs, Cs, and Ds. We will just group the coefficients, equate it to uh, some current value, and finalize our uh, third equation. As you can see, this is our equation. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. We have now three equations. We need one more equation, and it will be associated with this mesh, which is pretty easy. Okay, let's start from here. Go this direction and finalize the loop. Okay, four times IB, okay? So there's a voltage increase here, so it is minus 16, okay? Plus two times, two times IB minus IC is equal to zero, okay? So this is equal to minus 16, okay? And if I just group the Bs and Cs, I will say that it is six, I B minus two I C it's equal to 16 amps. And if I look at the final result, I will see that. Okay, so as you can see, I have four equations okay, and four unknowns. What I need to do is I need to solve the equation. Okay, so for unknowns is technically hard to do it by hand using a mesh method. The best thing is writing a matrix equation for this. Okay, so let's write the matrix equation. Okay, is it already written? Okay, and that's already written. Okay, so what are we going to do is we will write the, simply the matrix. Okay, minus one for IA, zero for IB, one for IC, zero for ID for the first equation. Okay, that's good. The second one is three over two IA, zero, zero, minus one over two ID. Okay, that's good. Uh, no problem. Here, 2, 6, minus 2, and minus 6. Very good. 2, 6, minus 2, and minus 6. Okay. And finally, we have 0. Okay. 6, minus 2, and 0. Let's call this matrix as R. Okay. Just R matrix. Okay. And we know that R times IA, IB, I C I D is equal to 5, 0, minus 16, 16 amps. Let's look at the final result. As you can see, this is my equation. Okay, if I call it R, if I call it I, and if I call it V, I is at the unknowns, I is simply equal to R to power minus 1 times V. Okay, and I can find I A, I B, I C, and I D. Okay, let's look. As you can see, uh, my mesh currents are 2, 5, 7, 6 amps. Okay, so in the uh, problem, we need to compute V1. Uh, V1 is simply uh, computed using almost 2 ohms times the current in this direction, which is equal to ID minus IA. It is 8 volts, and the result is consistent with our volt, uh, node voltage analysis. Okay, so as I told you before, uh, in general, if your matrix equation is second order, second order, it's fine. You can solve it by hand. If it's third order, it's also possible. And of course, when you go to fourth order, doing it by hand is just meaningless. Okay, I use MATLAB. You can use Octa, Python, or any computation source or uh, method uh, solving this kind of matrix equation. Uh, in this kind of techniques, the most important thing is building the matrix, which is the main uh, mathematical model. Of, after building the matrix, it's just uh, simple uh, algebraic or uh, numerical computation. Okay, that's all uh, that I want to talk about the mesh current analysis.